welcome back to another Geek Watt video and today I'm reviewing these. These are the Creative Outlier on-ear headphones. They are also wireless headphones. I'm going to take you over the functionality of these headphones, my opinion, sound quality and a full review. So make sure to drop a like rating. But without any further ado, let's get straight into today's Geek Watt video. So let's start off with a physical overview around the outside. So if we start on the top, you can see we've got our standard headband. Now this is plastic, it's incredibly light. And um, with these headphones being so light, you don't need any uh, really fancy leather solution or any heavy duty plastic because it's not really having to support any weight. The headband is incredibly flexible, so you're not gonna have to worry about breaking it. And no matter the size of your head, these sh should accommodate. If we move around to the side, we can see the Creative Outlier logo and the adjustment for these headphones to increase their size. Now these headphones go very, very big indeed and they also go very very small for example if you've got a very small head or you're a child etc etc on the side you've also got the outlier logo in orange and the outlier logo will be in orange uh regardless of whether you've got the black or the white versions of these headphones. If we move down to the what the uh, the um, the side of the ear cup, the side of the left ear cup, we can see it's completely blank. We've got a blank uh, glossy plastic, which doesn't seem to be attracting fingerprints as of yet, which is a really nice, really nice thing to report with a, uh, a metallic uh, metal slash plastic creative logo. If we skip around to the other side, I think this is where things get really, really interesting indeed. You can see uh, that on the side of the headphone, we've got um, an NFC logo. The creative logo, once again, in that in that glossy color and we've also got the end call uh, power um, and the end call and power and pause button along with an LED indicator now on the side of the ear cup this has to be the best selling feature in my opinion for this product we've got a micro SD card slot we've also got a plus and minus volume buttons and a pause track and the skip track um, the skip track option if we flip around to the other side of that ear cup this is where things start to get uh, more understandable so on uh, we've got a, a three-way switch with USB audio uh, Bluetooth and micro SD audio so you've got several options for listening on these headphones and I'll take you over all of those options now so the first is you can use the included USB to micro USB cable to listen on a Windows PC or a Mac PC. Uh, I didn't need any drivers myself for these and this is also the cable you use to charge these headphones. We've also got an aux cable, so a 3.5mm to 3.5mm cable. It's a detachable cable, which is a really, really nice feature. Uh, these have also got NFC and Bluetooth pairing options available, uh, so you can use these wirelessly, which is something I will go over in a moment's time. You've also got, um, uh, as I said, the USB option, which will charge the headphones up as you listen over USB. And you've also got a micro SD card slot. So I know what you're thinking, James, it's 2016, Bluetooth, NFC, we've got all that, everyone uses their phones now and aux cables, why the hell do you need an MP3 player inside a pair of headphones? Now these headphones are aimed at the fitness market, so going to the gym, participating in sports, running and that kind of thing. Now personally for me, the gym that I go to doesn't really have any options to put your phone anywhere. So for my personal preference, because my phone is quite heavy, I've got a big phone, I've got a, a 5.5 inch OnePlus One, I don't think I've got it to hand anywhere, here it is. I've got 5.5 inch OnePlus One, now this is a big phone compared to the size of my head, and I don't like taking it in the gym because there's nowhere to put it. So you can preload the micro SD card with a load of songs, uh, and then you can skip uh, those using the uh, using the, the control buttons on the side. If you are connected to a PC via a um, via a 3.5 millimeter aux cable, you aren't going to be able to utilize these controls. You will be able to utilize volume up and down, but it doesn't sync with the volume up and down on the computer. If you do use micro USB to USB cable, which is also included, uh, then you get the functionality of both the skip track and previous track buttons and of the up and down volume. The Bluetooth range on these is really nice and you get 10 hours of listening battery life, which is really great on a full charge. I've got really, really solid range. I managed to walk to the other side of my house and down a flight of stairs, which is, which is really, really nice from these headphones and I, I, I see no reason as to why I couldn't leave my phone in the changing room for the gym and take these in with me. These are incredibly light, like incredibly light. You can hold these with one finger and I even forget they're on my head sometimes. Now these are on-ear headphones. Personally, my preference and my past headphone decisions have all been over here, over here, such as my Scarlett HP60s, my Logitech G430s, and of course my Audio-Technica ATH M50X. Now these are on-ear headphones and they're much smaller. They use 35mm neodymium drivers and 35mm uh, is a much smaller 
smaller driver's size. Having these on ear, um, having these as on ear headphones, I've just got to adjust these, is, um, is, is something that some people may find as a disadvantage, for example, and it's all down to personal preference. Me personally, if I'm going to the gym, um, having on ear headphones is much nicer because I can hear the surroundings, I can hear if there's any problems, you've got much better spatial awareness, and they aren't going to make your ears sweat half as much. Talking of the ear cups, we've got leatherette ear cups in here, uh, and these will be white on the white models and black on the black models. So the all important question before I move on to the final features, how do they sound? So I use my usual testing suite and I listened across all of my, my headphones. So I, I listened on my uh, my Apple earphones, um, my Apple earbuds, I listened on my ATH M50Xs as I've already showed. I also listened on my Scarlett HP 60s and on my Logitech G430s. Now one thing I found these these headphones do, um, do miss out on slightly is the bass, but there is a solution to that included. Now included, you get these. You get these. These are little uh, rubber rings. Now these rings, uh, as you'll see in the B-roll here, can go over the sides of the headphones and they will actually limit the bass performance. So they will eradicate some of the bass and absorb some of those bass vibrations. If you take these off, um, the you can basically get a, a much better bass performance. And I found that once I based it in, once I added more bass in the EQ of my phone, I found that these bass-wise uh, were perfectly adequate for my needs. You don't want anything too bassy anyway if you're going somewhere like the gym because you don't want to be getting a headache when you're working out. Instead, you want some nice music. I use my usual listening suite of uh, UK Top 40, as well as a couple of other songs, which we'll be able to see on your screen on this side. And I have to say, I was incredibly impressed, especially in comparison to something like these, my Audio-Technica ATH and 50Xs. I found these headphones were much more similar to the reference performance of these ATH and 50Xs than these Logitech G430s. And what do I mean by that? So a reference headphone, uh, basically, it doesn't it doesn't EQ any of the sound, so it doesn't add any emphasis to any part of the sound. And these these do EQ the sound. Uh, so my ATH and 50Xs are reference headphones. These are not reference headphones. These add more bass, and they are very 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 bassy. But I found that these definitely compare very well to my ATH and 50Xs. Now, with the smaller driver size, you are going to get a lower bass performance, and that's something that you do have to accept. However, the bass performance out of these for my needs was more than adequate. I also tested out the Bluetooth calling feature, so I, uh, I answered a call using these and ended the call using these and use the inbuilt microphone on these headphones uh, to call several family members and every single one without my prompt commented on how much clearer my voice was when using these as opposed to using, um, using my inbuilt microphone on my phone. Another cool feature that is definitely worth noting on these headphones is the lap timer. So they will actually time your lap, it will give you voice prompts as to how you are doing and for somebody that runs or someone that goes running then that is another great feature if it's just because it's there doesn't mean you have to use it but having such functionality really is a massive massive bonus personally for me the final feature i wish to mention about these which i really really love is the app available for android and ios i'll leave a link in the description below and it basically uh, turns any notifications on your phone whether that be skype facebook whatsapp text twitter any of those notifications and it will basically convert that text to speech and read these out through these earphones. The um, the sound feedback on these as well is really, really nice. For example, if you put the if you put the volume up on the side and you get to the volume limit of the headphones, it'll give you a very short uh, but very responsive beep to let you know what's going on without disturbing your sound experience. Overall, I was incredibly impressed by these headphones and these will definitely replace my, uh, my Apple EarPods uh, for the gym and for working out and for doing fitness and that kind of thing. And having these be in wireless is a major, major, major selling point for me. Uh, other things I love about these products, the biggest pros are the, uh, are the color changing rings to, to help you kind of personalize your headphones. You can have these in several colors. You can have yellow, black, white, orange, uh, pink and green, which are really, really nice. Uh, I understand that you may even be able to, in the future, buy other color rings for these headphones to personalize them even more. Personally, white are my favorite color, but black also looks super, super sleek. And being able to hold 10,000 songs in an inbuilt MP3 player with a 16 gigabyte micro SD card really is a huge bonus for me to save me having to worry about where I'm putting my flagship phone when I'm in the gym. 
so pros and cons of this product the leather ear cups are super 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 comfortable and these earphones these headphones sorry are very very light indeed the built-in mp3 player is a great plus as well as the audible feedback and hd voice microphone these are incredibly light and mean that unlike um, unlike over ear headphones or heavier headphones they aren't going to be sort of weighing you down after a long gym session and they're much much more comfortable than, than a set of apple earphones testing these on my usual suite of songs which will all be linked in the description below definitely impressed me and i really these headphones are going to be replacing my earphones uh, for when i go to the gym now for the conclusion pros and cons what i like and what i don't so I love these headphones. These will definitely be replacing my Apple earphones um, in the gym and when I'm working out because a, the wire always gets caught from my Apple earphones on something somewhere and B, the sound quality of these surpasses my Apple earphones by an absolute mile. They're very, very light, which means I also don't have to worry about having something incredibly heavy on my head, which some people at the gym manage to be able to do, uh, but very uncomfortably it looks at that. Having the built-in MP3 player and being able to hold 10,000 songs on a 16 gig micro SD card is a great feature, and having to be able to answer calls, uh, NFC, is a massive, massive bonus for me as well. So much so that I will now, when I get a new phone, make sure it has NFC so that I compare these because the ability to get my phone and tap it simply against the side of the earphones and instantly pair my device to these headphones is a massive, massive plus for me. The bass performance is probably what these headphones are lacking and for some people they will want more bass performance. You may have to EQ it in your phone and bass really is not what let these headphones down but what really could make these a superb pair of headphones but in 35mm driver size this is really as good as it's going to get. You have to make a trade-off somewhere for small and light. Saying that, the base easily excels anything uh, of, of this size that I already have, such as Apple earphones or smaller, cheaper on-ear headphones. For just £100.75, these are a great pair of on-ear headphones. And if you're looking for something for the gym or for working out, then these are a great, great option. I'd like to thank Creative for sending me these and making this review possible and also for massaging my ears with really, really, really good sound quality. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like rating. If you wanna buy these headphones, the US and UK links will be in the description below. Go and show some support. These really are a great product. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, rate, and please do subscribe. Follow my Twitter at GeekAwatt, and we'll as always see you in the next GeekAwatt video.